welcome to the uh, Star Wars Destiny at Toronto Regionals here at 401 Games in Toronto, Canada. My name is Victor. I'm here with my partner, Travis. We are VTTV Live. We are joining round two in progress. We're just going to fix that in a second, uh, the, uh, the round thing on the top of the screen. But uh, anyway, we've got uh, Alfredo and Jason playing off against each other. So you can see that Alfredo on the right side of the screen is playing Elite S Sabine paired up with Yoda. Very popular combination from what I understand. And his opponent is playing a uh, Rebel vehicle deck with Ezra, Rose, and Ayla Secura. So we're going to have the uh, deck list on the screen in a couple of moments. We're going to walk through the walk through the lists. But uh, from what I understand, uh, the Sabine Ezra deck, sorry, the Sabine Yoda deck is a very fast, very consistent deck. Uh, obviously, it seeks to discard a bunch of uh, very powerful upgrades into its discard pile and then uses Sabine's ability plus any sort of action cheating to kind of get that stuff into play and um, activate it before the opponent can respond. Of course, Jason on the other side, you can see his deck list up on the left side of the screen. He has a much more grindy version of a deck. Uh, so, yeah, lots of vehicles and lots of uh, dice to start with as well. Jason, uh, he took the initiative, so we're using his Weapons Factory Alpha Battlefield. And uh, we're going to bring that up on the screen as well in a second. So three damage to Rose. What I understand, Rose is the uh, character you want to go after first. Either Rose or Ezra. Overconfidence already played from Alfredo. So some of you who follow some of uh, Starkiller Bases videos on his YouTube channel, uh, Alfredo is one of the producers for that video. Unfortunately, John himself couldn't make it today. Uh, he's off with his family down in Florida. So uh, Alfredo is going to have to carry on the Starkiller Base torch for him. You're gonna to have to have some patience with me. I'm not familiar with a lot of the new cards, so anything that I'm, anytime I'm silent or anything like that, it's because uh, I'm waiting for the the card to come up on the, on the screen so I can see what it does. So it looks like you played a Republic Cruiser, uh, Jason, just now. And Travis, can you bring that up on the screen so I can see what it does? Give a unique character shoe shields or two of your favorite ones. Sure. Okay. Next weekend. 
back of the game. Yeah. So at the conclusion of round one, we see uh, C-3PO alongside the Republic Cruiser and uh, Red Upgrade, I think it's Tech Team, something like that. Uh, it's coming down. And uh, three damage on Rose. Alfredo took the uh, battlefield, so he's going to have initiative going into the next turn. Starts off activating Yoda. Rolls him out. Looks like a one shield. So one of the weaker sides, I think, on Yoda's dice. Jedi responds with his Rose activation. Gets a special one disrupt. Yeah, Tra Travis is the VTTV wizard. All the all the technical stuff you see on this uh, stream, it's all because of Travis. Well, I don't know if I can say that anymore. Now that you have your own camera. <laughs> All right, so he's activate. Alfred is activating. Sabine returns a hidden blaster from. And a hidden blaster and a holdout blaster. Uh, ambush, yeah. All right, so of course. And also, let's remove a shield from your character. Remove shield from your character. Oh man, that's. <laughs> Well, okay, so uh, it's, it's been a while since I've played Destiny myself, but from what I understand, the Sabine Yoda deck is like the one of the big bads of the format. And uh, you can see right there, turn two, already a dead rose, focus down. That's a lot of uh, Jason's um, power as far as, uh, as, as, far as uh, support. support buffing goes, with rose going down. So Jason's going to have to try to regain some tempo here by taking out uh, Yoda, if not Sabine. Rolls out a, looks like a two shield and a special on Aayla Secura's. Uh, okay. Was that two shield or two indirect damage? Oh, it might be two indirect, yeah. Yeah, two indirect damage and a uh, special. Right. The special lets you turn a red or blue dice to any side. As well, one of yours, and then turning an opponent's thing as well. And no restriction on your opponent's side. Yeah. We're rolling out the cruiser now. See what see what uh, Jason discards here. It looks like a. Well, this would be a lot easier if I had the deck list up on the side. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. uh yeah S sorry for the for the stumbling here when we get to the top cut we're hopefully going to get people who actually know how to play this game on on and we're also just getting, on stream yeah uh, YouTube, yep. overlays, we, have new tools. we can bring up card previews and either screen yeah uh, it's just a little fiddly still right now okay so ezra rolls a disrupt one of uh one of Ezra's really neat abilities, the ability to steal a resource from, from their opponent. And in addition to being super cheap, of course. Uh, five dice five dice character decks were not something that you generally saw in the uh, Awakenings, Empire, or sorry, Spirit of Rebellion meta. Resolves a special on the Republic Cruiser, giving two shields to Ezra, as that seems to be the next target for Alfredo's onslaught. Then uh, follows it up with a C-3PO roll. Do you know if uh, Alfredo claimed there, or is he just passing? Yeah. Jason discarding another copy of the Republic Cruiser to reroll here. Getting a resource and a thing. I see, yeah. 
Yeah, no, no need to claim right away when your opponent has a bunch of dice uh, still out on the table. It, even if you don't have anything to do, it's always good to just bluff it. But of course, uh, Alfredo does have something to do. He plays a Force Illusion on Yoda. Uh, that's going to soak up at least some damage uh, from, from Jason. Jason, again, discarding to reroll his Ezra. I guess he's looking for... Actually, I'm not sure what he's looking for here. <clears throat> so he's going to play out a Y-Wing. Y-Wing, I think, puts damage on it, yeah. Force some point to deal damage to your distribute as they wish. I see, okay. And he does roll out the special on the Y-Wing. It's a pretty good deal. It's four combined uh, damage for cards. Yep. And, uh, yep. and of course, uh, with C-3PO on the table as well, you can pretty much guarantee that you can use the Y-Wing special anytime you roll it out, no matter what side you get. Alfredo plays Truce uh, to gain a resource uh, well, for both players. Uh, it's also an ambush, so I assume he's going to spend it. Yeah, and I, did, did he just claim there when he tapped the, I guess when he tapped the uh, battlefield? So Jason's got a lot of got a lot of supports on the table now, but um, he's still got a oh nice. So he's so Alfredo just decides to take all four damage onto uh, Yoda and then triggers his Force Illusion. <coughs> uh, among the things he milled was a Never Tell Me the Odds, which uh, if uh, people who know this deck know the uh basically the combo between with running the never tell me odds and running interference uh he, yeah okay so afredo still retaining control of the battlefield going into the next turn discarding uh another upgrade which is sure to be played on Sab uh, sabine any moment now also see a dl44 nice good disruption piece on uh, alfredo's side four speed as well might be the first thing coming down this uh, turn. Yep. Right on Toyota. Four speed. <laughs> That's, it's for my benefit, too, when you when you put that stuff up. Yeah, sorry. I forgot. I, I completely lost track of things. It'll make, it'll make things much easier. Yeah. So rolling out Yoda. Yoda with no blank sides. However, not so lucky with the uh, the four speed. The uh, <laughs> the one disrupt side not looking too hot either. That's another. Was it tech team? Is it he just played rally rally something? Rally aid. That's a rally aid. Exhaust support. Another support. Yeah. We will see that does see that four speed. So four speed combined with an ambush upgrade on Sabine plus her activation. That's like what three, four actions in a row, something like that? It's crazy. And I I, I didn't take a good look at Alfredo's hand, but if he has something like never tell me the odds, I mean that's just <laughs> he can pretty much uh, he like pretty much gank. Yeah. Uh, not never tell me the odds. No. Scavenge? Maybe? No. no. All right, so activating Sabine using the Hidden Blaster ability to remove a shield from Ezra. And, that's and a ton of so it's Wow. Showing. Yeah, didn't need a... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even need like a focus or anything. So uh, it's up to Jason now to see if he can. I don't know that Ezra's run for this world. Yeah. Right, he had the ambush action from replacing the hidden blaster, right? Yeah. So four speed. So first he's going to deal was at six six damage to Ezra. Four to Ezra. Four to Ezra. Okay. And takes a 
Oh, that takes a shield. Right. That was six. Yeah. Now that's interesting. Oh, right. five, five, five. He, uh, well, there was one shield, so he did five damage plus one shield damage. So it's total of six. So that's interesting. He didn't. I wonder why he didn't kill uh, Ezra straight up. I mean, it looks like he's saving that money for something. So Jason sees the writing on the wall, rolls out Ezra. Uh, Ezra hasn't really been doing a lot this game. Seems like he's been rolling a lot of blanks last couple of turns. I think Alfredo just, yeah, he uh, disrupts and then Jason responds, rolling out Ayla Secura, hyperspace jump, ending the turn. Ah, that's why he didn't spend the money. Why not, right? I mean, if then you can just activate Sabine again. Overwrite the Hidden Blaster. Remove another shield. Get some more money. So Alfredo is firmly in control in this game. He's going to start things off again with a Yoda roll. Looking for a... Oh! Well, that's a very nice roll for him. Yeah. Now, Jason's at the point where... Oh. Like a vandalize. Yeah, he van I, I Sorry. Got a yeah, it vandalizes. You remove, uh, I think, character dice, and then you discard an upgrade or support equal to whatever. And so he discards the force speed because it costs zero, so he didn't have to remove any dice. Very nice. Rolling out that Y wing. Uh, rolls a disrupt side. And here comes the dreaded Sabine activation, grabbing another hidden blaster. Maybe. No, gets a DL44 instead. Yep, overriding the holdout blaster. Pays $1 for it, makes him remove the only die in Jace's pool, which was the Y Wing die. And let's see what kind of nonsense he will roll this time. Of course, he has an ambush, so he will get one more action after this roll. That also looks like a pretty good roll there. I mean, at the very least, it's going to kill off Ezra, I think. Well, I don't think you want to, with the plus side, you probably want to just put that on your That's true. You might also be thinking about disrupting um, Jason. You might just want to get rid of that. Use that damage so it doesn't have a chance of taking one dice, like getting two dice for the price of one. He's playing truth. Another ambush. Gains more resource. Then he uses Yoda special. Yeah. Let's do two things in restarts. Give a character a shield, turn one of your dice to any side, or discard the top card of a deck. You, I mean, yeah. so, turn Sabine's die to a uh, damage. Yeah. So that was a rally aid activation there where he plays out the uh, speeder, I think it's called, the ETA 2 interceptor that just got played out. Card, yeah, well, a lot of vehicles, but like that's the the problem is now like you're gonna you're gonna have to spend multiple actions to activate them, right? Meanwhile, Alfredo just mercs one of your characters, so kills off Ezra finally. Does uh, looks like five damage to Ayla, removing the last shield. Jason doing another Rally 8 activation. This time getting a Y-Wing for only one resource. 
so the hope now is just to, you know, you've uh, you've weathered Alfredo's onslaught. So now you got to hope your your vehicles manage to uh, deal as much damage before he gets to untap for the next turn. Special. Although Alfredo has a yeah four bucks. <laughs> he could theoretically uh, do that. Although you might just take the damage on, on someone and then uh, take the damage on Sabine and play the second chance. Was a shield and an interceptor. R2 here. Special for R2. So it lets you draw a card and you may turn one of your dice any side. So. That's nice. I mean, meanwhile, it's just it's intimidating. Alfredo's sitting there with four resources just passing. You're like, ah. Eh. I'll do, I'll do something when you when you have something worth responding to. Now, to note, Alfredo actually has a second chance in his hand, so he's not afraid of losing Sabine at all. Like, at this point, I mean, even if Yoda dies, it doesn't really matter. Right now, all you have to deal is six damage to finish off Ayla, and even though she's surrounded by a bunch of supports, it's not really going to do much good. No, I, I mean, I'm not sure that she'll survive another... Uh be yep. so. And uh, yeah, discard to re-roll all the blanks. Everything that's not damage oh. or gonna get you damage. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if any of those. Oh, okay, more blanks. But he does get a focus. There's a second chance. Perhaps. Uh, I don't know if, uh, I think, yeah. Is that? No, I was just trying to see if Jason had all in in his side. I think only if Alfredo has all in yeah, in his deck. In. So I, I don't know if Alfredo was just worried about getting all in and then uh, having Sabine get killed down, but you might as well. Uh, you might as well put the second chance on. Things are getting a little bit louder now that people have started showing up to uh, play other games at 4-1. And here's the Y-Wing, yeah. So I think, oh, yep. I'm guessing put another two on. Uh, oh, what's up today? Two, four, eight. But you know, with the second chance, that still a long way to go. Uh, huh. possible. I see. Yeah. Although I did, I just saw him draw another second chance. Um, I also see Maz's goggles. He'll need to get the resources up. I guess he can overwrite something. But. Uh, Maz's goggles and I think Maz's pa hideout, something like that. The vault, right. 
The one that gets you an extra resource every turn. Starts out by rolling out Yoda getting a special. Always nice to see that side. <clears throat> y Wings. He's doing well at hitting oh. specials on the Y Yeah. Now he just needs to make sure that he survives long enough. But Alfredo's gonna <laughs> basically say, hey, here, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a bunch of actions before you get to do anything. So it looks like a three damage side and a bunch of disrupt. And I do, I actually do see an all in on uh, on Alfredo's side. So if he plays all in, he could use Yoda to change. Yeah. So all in, running interference, so he can't uh, play an event on Jason's next turn. And now he's just he's going to turn. A, one of his other dice to any side, I guess, and do something else. So it takes a resource. Yeah, it's probably going to be Sabine to the, was it the three damage side? Yeah. So that's five damage, and I think... Six damage. Six damage, right. Five total with the shield, so leaves uh, Jason with just one health left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now all Alfreda has to do is just basically pitch to reroll. Yeah, he's gonna reroll, play another yeah. side. Oh, but then he rolls. Yeah, and that's all he needed. And that's it. Yeah. So that's um. I guess that's Sabine Yoda for you. One of definitely one of the decks to beat uh, in this tournament. Alfredo also a very competent player. Maybe we'll see more of him later in the day. But uh, that's going to be a conclusion round two.